M0 FXB unit then STS 100 200 there is new firmware I tried this the other day but it didn't work let's try again it's the uh, 30th of March 2025 just check that it's the right model so we go target at the moment we're on the 100 E and uh, let's just go update update firmware last time it said up, up to date let's try again sorry about the banging Ooh. Yeah, something's actually happening. So it looks like it is updating the firmware. This, I read it. It's to do with trunking and TDMR. Anyway, let's follow the instructions. So the uh, usual PC's unmount function to unmount the scanner. So we're going to go to the actual firmware that it finds the scanner because it treats it like an SD card. So we're going to right click and then eject. And then it says, uh, press and hold the power button. Press and hold the power key to start the update. So let's do it. Power. Press and holding. And there it goes. Hopefully you can see that that's going in now. Updating the firmware. I'm going to do the SDS 200 as well while I'm here. Click that complete. Virtually identical process. Firmware. That's it. And then we'll have a look at the settings, just see what the firmware is. Let it load up. We just go to settings, take out the SD card, go to settings. Turn one back click, select. And then we want C scanner 1.2315.1.0306. That's that. Let's grab my 200. Okay, we're on the 200 now. I'm going to plug into the micro USB and then press enter. When it prompts me, enter. Now I'm going to change the model to 200, like so. And then I'm going to click update. And it'd be the same process. Click OK, and then the server starts to do exactly the same as what we just did. And then we'll follow the instructions. That's both sets done. And then we're going to see if we can find the change log now. So that's good. So it says here, after disconnecting the cable, it just updates. So there's no button pushing. So I'm just going to disconnect the cable. And then click OK. Do not turn off while updating the firmware. So that's both my devices updated. And about the software is called 2.05. OK. That's all good. Let's find the change log a minute. So it says here, support DMR tier 3 multi-block VCH grant. Improved to detect DMR tier 3. And uh, max late entry messages and added weather EAS event codes for SQWBLU. And just transmit on DMR. M0 FXB test 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 test, 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 one, two, one, two test, 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 test. You can see you got the DMR number, the talk group, it's all there. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Seven, three.